Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see uh, let's how to make the amazing title triple animation in After Effects. So let's see how to make this animation. And one more thing, I have attached my support file and the project file too in description link. So just click the link and download it for your reference. So let's see. Let's see how to make this animation. So I got choose the logo, the last of us logo, drag it into your little timeline. And you can see because of the logos was black. So go to the effect and preset panel and type fill add a color to make the color change the color. I choose a white. And now it's a very large to your frame. So we need to fit to your frame. So just reset resize the layer so just select the layer and yes and choose a 40 i choose a 40 to fit the frame and make it with the align tool to center of your frame so now it will be done and right click the name to code the pre-compose and make it to move all attributes to the new composition and click ok and sorry make it rename as logo so don't forget it make as a pre comp because of if you uh, create the transition and the effect for this one logo if you going to be double click here you can change the logo or title or what kind of your uh, object you want to be uh, uh, coming from the uh, effect you can choose and place it here literally so now select this to done and you're going to be add a one more layer that is a new solid layer and make it it's the name is noise transition so this is going to be using your transition layer going to be a sewer transition layer so now select this layer and go to the effect and preset pre pre panel and type fractional noise so this is the noise and going to be used it here this is a very complexity of very useful thing noise here we, many of uh, transition will be created by this noise so it's very useful uh, we need to be, uh, know how to use, use it so here we can have a fracture type of many varieties so i can choose time process so it's look like a exploding or wave effect so the noise type will be the solid soft layer so done and the contrast we're going to be at just the contrast you will get a variety but it will be later i will show uh, before the, all this you're going to be uh, revise the scale it's a very small size now we're going to be working on the big size like 1500 i give it so now it's boom very big and it looks like a very blur so it should be a uh, need a sharpness so you're going to be a uh, complexity value will be 20 if you make it 20 it will be look like short and now it's going to be a uh, uh, adjust a contest if you can adjust a contest you will get a bit of uh, tissues effect like a tissues printed likes so i choose a 3 to 5 sorry 320 or uh, 325 will be good not bad and now we're going to be a, select a preactive offset and you're going to be a, if you want to adjust a, we want to be a very different of angle of this nice you can get a different type of transition so uh, this is not a compel this is a, a optional if you have want you can give it it's not a matter and now we're going to be a set a keyframes in the brightness so i choose in the front of the uh, starting of your timeline and choose the uh, and turn on the timer button in the brightness panel and make it is fully out black out or white i choose a white now uh, sorry black now sorry <laughs> uh, it will be will be 150 and make it for second and here the value will 150 i think so the full white so black to white is going to be make it as a transition so so now it will be a done now here uh, if you know you can if you want to know you can just play the from the start you can go to be revealed here 
if you want to um, show off the keyframes in your layer just select the layer and press the u it will be show up all the keyframes in your selected layers only so okay here it is for the beginners tips so just if you are the beginners just noted it for you it is very useful for the working on the shortcuts so now um, turn off the layer and now we're going to be uh, add a effect in the local layer so go to the effect and panel panel before go to the panel you can select this logo so that's not a matter and if effect and peak panel and type a gradient wipe so this transition we're going to be use it here you can uh, get it in the transition panel only so drag it into your local layer and now we can see we have the variety of layers so you know oh uh, here is the gradient layer here so we before you get a noise transition so this is the for your gradient layer act as a gradient layer here so we choose the name here the noise transition and go to the effect to effect and mask so here you going to nothing because you're going to be at the value here transition completion value if you just assess the value you can get a noising close to effect but this will like nice bit of uh, sharp edges so we're going to be uh, add some trans softness the transition softness if you give the uh, big common it will be show up your all the other areas so i choose uh, minimum the 8 percentage it's working for this and this to 12 percentage it will be fine and now play it from start make it as a fit now play it here it will be cool now so now it's thing if you think is too fast right select the keyframes and right click, click and key set the keyframe assistant you can see the easy easy the shortcut will be the f9 if you don't is doesn't need it if you're beginners you can you need to work in the shortcuts you will be save the more amount of time it's a very useful thing so don't forget it is so now play it from start so if you think it's too fast your animation just uh too far from your start keyframe so how long you spread your keyframe it will be your transition or your effect or your animation will be slow so now we'll play here if you think it's too fast make it too long so now you're going to be a ripple from here so just uh, adjust this here or it can be a keyframe in b if you press the p it's going to come from the front if you select this end will be here you can press n this will be compress your working area so now we play it here it will be look like a loop repeat and repeat it will be a reference preview viewing it's like a preview so it's very useful for this so i think it will be done and it could be cool so you, you it i think you're going to be a learn one more useful thing today so if you add a one me look like i mean look like dynamic i mean the cinematic titles so i will show you that so if you it's a plain text or plain logo if you want to add a texture if you have the textures or if you so i will already have it in your display link just drag it in here to bottom and resize to fit your frame so yes and fit your frame now i'm going you're going to see the track mat so this is a track mat effect if it doesn't know you just select the toggle switch to mode you will get it so now you're going to a nomad to logo select the logo so now you going to be see that non textures will be appear in your uh, text or your logo layer so it, it's like you can apply the texture of your crunch textures so and then one more thing it will be add a one main glowing color effect from the start so select this all the layers right click here and go into a brick composition and rename it 
logo rebel because already we go name as a logo layer so it doesn't want to re so we'll click ok now it could be created and now go to the effect and preset panel again fill this is a very useful and famous one add a fill and make it is what color you want i choose a green mid range and now play it from the start green will be appear but if you duplicate this layer sorry select this layer and control d in your shortcut okay so duplicate this layer and you will get and you need to move to forward bit of keyframes for seconds so now you're going to be play it here we will get the same but go to the control tab if you turn off the fill in your top layer you will get the different boom so let's play it from the start you will get a difference so if you think i think it's too far from the first bottom layer so just bring it too far if you do if you want to more glowing you do away if you want to bit of this choose forward so i choose this and this amount will be good so now play it from the start i make it a fit for your preview like it will be nice so i think you will like this tutorial so if you like this tutorial just uh, like the bell button and subscribe my channel and comment your thoughts and if you want any tutorial for a whatever like this just comment it i will post for the tutorial for this too so have a nice day guys bye